Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's take a look at the fifth period on the periodic table and how the atomic radius is affected by the position of the elements on the table. Notice that now we're on the fifth period down. Notice how large the radii of the elements are. Of course, there's many more electrons in orbits around the nucleus, in orbitals, I should say, and so therefore you see quite large sizes for the atomic radii. Another thing that happens is we are now putting electrons in the fifth and the fourth energy level, the fifth level for the s and the p orbitals, the, the fourth level for the d orbitals, but you can see there's a lot of uh, electrons in orbitals closer to the nucleus, screening out the effect of the nucleus, the, the positive nuclear charge to the electrons in the fifth, in the fifth and the, ooh, this should be fifth level, not sixth level, this is the fifth period, this is the 5p orbitals and the 4d orbitals. So you can see that the screening effect uh, causes the atoms to be much larger in size because the effective pull of the nucleus is not as strong to the outer electrons. Now notice that the first two, rubidium and strontium, those fill up the 5s orbitals with electrons like that. So you can see that since the screening effect doesn't change, you can see that the size of the, uh, the radius decreases going from rubidium to strontium. Now we start filling in the electrons in the 4d orbitals. So this is for yttrium, for zirconium, for nubidium, for molybdenum, and technetium. Now what happens is when we get to molybdenum, uh, before when the 4d orbital gets filled, or not filled, but when the 4th slot in the 4d orbitals gets filled, this electron will come in and fill up the 5th slot right there. So notice by doing that we have more of a screening effect and the result is that the covalent radiance, which is in parentheses, has a noticeable effect caused by additional electrons filling in the 4d level, causing more screening to occur and causing the effective radius of the covalent radius to increase right here. Now we continue on, so going to uh, ruthenium and rhodium and palladium, you can see that the radii begin to decrease again in size and then again when we start getting to this point when the electrons fill in like this and once we get over here to silver and cadmium, notice that the covalent radius begins to increase again because again it pulls the electron off of here and completes, oh, that's the wrong direction, spin direction, that's the wrong spin direction for the electron. This has got to be spin down, and this is spin down. Notice that we get to silver and cadmium, that the 4D uh, orbitals fill up, causing more of a screening effect. It pulls one of the electrons out of the 5S orbital, and notice that the covalent radius increases again, just like it did over here. Again, the effect is that additional electrons being pulled in the 4D energy level, uh, causes more screening to occur between the nucleus and the outer electrons causing the size of the uh, atom to swell up and then of course it continues on the path decreasing in radius because more and more electrons are now filling into the fifth level first the p orbitals get filled with a single electron in each orbital and then we come back and fill in the rest of the orbitals with a second electron in the six um, representative elements and you can see then that the radius continues to decrease as there's more and more nuclear positive charge no additional screening because the entire 4d orbitals have been filled already by the time we get to this point and so therefore the electrons get drawn in closer and closer and closer because the stronger and stronger positive charge in the nucleus and no additional screening and the greater pull on these electrons pulling them in so there you can see the radius of the fifth period decreasing as you go from left to right, have a little bit of a hump when the 5D orbitals get filled in the first spin-up direction, when the 5D orbitals get filled, uh, I should say 4D orbital get filled um, in both spin directions, and then the, the radius continues to decrease as you go farther to the right in the fifth period. So now th in the last five videos you've had a pretty good uh, look and see how and why the radius of atoms changes. First because there's more and more electrons, cause the the um, atom to get bigger. There's more screening effect of the inner electrons causing the outer electrons to go out further out in space. But as you go from left to right, as you get more and more nuclear charge in the nucleus and no additional screening, you see the electrons beginning to get pulled in from the stronger positive charge at the nucleus. And that's how you take a look at the atomic radius for the five periods.